today I would like to share my experience about the Block January challenge which was this year in January. Before uh, enrolling into that challenge I was looking for some information online, what it is, what to expect. Unfortunately I couldn't find lots of information that is why I decided to film this video. So every year in January WordPress runs a challenge which is called Block January. Uh, the challenge is to write blog posts for your blog, which is on your website, Duh. every single day. They send you the topics to write about every day at um, 12 at midday London time. And um, I expected totally different, you know, I expected to receive some tips on writing and um, I don't know, something to improve my writing. However, they did not send us any tips, anything, just the topics. We had a closed community where we shared our blog posts and um, commented, uh, gave feedback on each other's blog posts. It was incredible. The engagement was amazing on my website. For example, in January, when I have a look at my analytics, I can see that I had 1,286 viewers, uh, 150 comments, 240 likes, and etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, the topics were not related to what I write on my blog, and um, I was in doubt whether to enroll into the challenge or not because I was afraid, number one, to spam my subscribers with the everyday blog posts. I know that uh, people do not like receiving emails or notifications every single day with some content. However, I decided to... Um, I decided to... <laughs> enroll into the challenge and uh, I was super surprised that my subscribers wrote me private messages like hey I love your blog post I'm looking forward to your next blog post and um, it was really really great so uh, the lessons I learned during the challenge number one is that I learned how to write super quickly because we had only 24 hours to write one text and um, publish it and also to comment. And you couldn't see other participants' blog posts unless you post yours. I think that uh, it was that way. Um, I didn't like the fact that I had to post my first draft. I had no time like working and uh, also I'm based in Kiev, Ukraine because of the full-scale invasion. Um, it was super hard but still it was doable and uh, I had to publish my first draft. The topics were super weird and uh, I must say that I didn't write like at least four topics I guess. So the examples of the topics we had, um, what is something you want to achieve this year, how are you brave, what is the earliest memory you have, what is the treasure that has been lost, what chore you find the most challenging to do, if you had uh, one billion US dollars, what would you spend it on, and so on and so forth. So you can see that the topics are not related to some business things and um, that is why you should think before enrolling if you really would like to post such um, things. I was also afraid that a person will would come to my blog teachingitsfun.net and see lots of blog posts which are not related to the things which I usually write about. That is why I decided to archive almost all blog posts from that challenge. I did not delete them. You can still write the, uh, you can still read the text, but they just do not appear in the feed. I will include the link in the description of this video so that you could read more about the challenge and also read some of my blog posts or maybe all blog posts from that challenge.